Welcome to our video channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more great railway videos. Selamat datang di channel video kami. Jangan lupa subscribe untuk update video-video terbaru kami. A new breed of locomotives is rolling down the railways of the world. Revolutionary technology has overcome traditional barriers to produce trains unlike any before. Super diesels pull mile-long trains. High-speed locomotives cover miles in mere seconds. And trains of the future that will travel using levitation. Each super train is a product of challenge and innovation, begun decades ago, when great steam locomotives ruled the rails. In railroad design labs and manufacturing plants, a new breed of super trains is being born. Scientists and engineers are experimenting with advances in technology such as computer-aided design. This is being used to create models of locomotives prior to construction. These prototypes can be tested and modified without ever lifting a wrench. Braking and propulsion systems, traction controls, rail geometry. These are driving locomotive technology to new limits. Train designers are racing toward another goal. Perfecting the means for hauling people at very high speeds. For the newest generation of passenger locomotives, the biggest design consideration is the people. However, they are also the limiting factor. In France, they have crossed that barrier. High-speed trains are rocketing people to speeds of nearly 200 miles per hour. Every day in busy terminals, a new class of trains departs. These aerodynamic speedsters crisscross France at record speeds. TGVs are only one of several new super trains, passenger trains that have evolved from technology's venture into new realms of mass in motion, pushing laws of physics to their limits. Riding France's TGV is like hitching a ride on a low-level jet. except it is smoother, safer, and far more comfortable. Physical limitations of the human body create a tremendous technical challenge. Acceleration, braking speed, the g-force encountered on curves, design factors that must meet the safety and comfort needs of people. After all, these are passengers, not jet pilots. High-speed rail can accelerate much faster than we're planning to accelerate at, but it's a comfort factor for the people. We're not trying to build a roller coaster. We're trying to build a system which is comfortable. People could be strapped into their seats and operate at much higher speeds, but nobody could be able to hold onto a cup of coffee or anything in the service. So the service is designed to provide people with a sensation of moving, but without a sensation of, of being thrust through the environment to get to where they're going. Safety is the major factor. Higher speeds reduce the margin for error. Super speed train designers have come up with a variety of solutions to maintain safety while still pushing the limits of speed.
France's method was to build a completely integrated rail system dedicated solely to high-speed travel. The train, the track, the communication and control system, all elements of the TGV network are fused together and aim toward one goal, moving people very fast. Each TGV is designed as a train set, eight to 10 passenger cars with a locomotive at each end. Weighing approximately 550 tons and almost 800 feet in length, these are high-tech roadsters. The cars are not coupled in the conventional manner, but are semi-permanently linked. The articulation design method is used to increase stability at high speed. Positioning the wheel assemblies between cars also quiets the ride, reduces weight, and improves aerodynamics. TG drawing 25,000 volts of electricity from cantonary lines above the track and creating a combined 12,000 horsepower from both locomotives. Unlike electric diesels, the traction motors are fitted to the body instead of the trucks. Consequently, their mass does not affect the aerodynamic behavior. The locomotives are high-power electric locomotives. The total power of a locomotive is about 6,000 horsepower, which, uh, to, to make a comparison, it's equivalent to 6,000 vacuum cleaners. Lightweight high-powered. Add streamlining and you come up with the world's fastest passenger train. In May 1990, a TGV attempted to break through the 300 mile per hour barrier. No paying passengers were on board. Instead, a team of 40 technicians and engineers made the trip. For the test, larger wheel sets were added to the train and the catenary lines above were tightened. In order to reach their goal, almost 30,000 volts had to be picked up over a 31-mile stretch without fail. As the test began, scientists did not know what to expect from the train set because at very high speeds, the TGV is in some ways very much like an aircraft. There was the possibility the vehicle could lose contact with the rails. About 30 minutes into the ride, they recorded a speed of 321 miles per hour. This was an all-new high-speed world record for travel on rails. Analysis of the data indicated the TGV could go faster, possibly reaching 400 miles per hour. However, on regular runs, the TGV stays just under 200 miles per hour. The track is critical in achieving this performance level. It's basically uh, Newton's principle of uh, motion where things tend to go in a straight line. When the trains are operating at high speed, it's much more difficult to turn them so that the curvature, just like on a highway, takes a lot more time to, to make a turn. So in our planning of designing a uh, high-speed rail line, 
uh, considerations to avoid things like environmental issues or housing developments or things like that. It requires us to plan to make a turn miles away, I mean 10 miles away, before we change the alignment of the track. Engineers have kept the number of curves to a minimum, and there are no grade crossings of the track. In addition, only TGVs operate on these lines. No other passenger or freight locomotives are permitted. The rail also provides the train's communication link. At speeds far in excess of 100 miles per hour, the colored lights of conventional train signaling are useless. At such speed, drivers can't react to warning lights flashing by in microseconds. A revolutionary system was needed. Engineers developed an innovative way to send signals through the steel rail. These signals are received in the cab. Speed limit restrictions, fluctuations in power, and emergency warnings are all displayed on the driver's console. At high speed, driver, especially when the weather is not good, if it rains or if there is fog, the driver is unable to see at high speed signaling along the line. To overcome this problem, information to the locomotives is sent through a series of digital pulses down the rail. Train sets are equipped with receivers mounted on the underbody. These record information and forward it to a train-borne logic system, which decodes it for the driver. As many as 13 different indications can appear, one after another, on the cab signal display. The daily flight of high-speed trains is controlled at several command centers like this one in Paris. The people in charge will have in front of them a board that indicates the position of all the TGVs that are operating at any moment. A red light indicates the position of each train. And that gives them a uh, broad overview of the situation. There's also another panel that indicates the situation concerning the energy supply. So that in fact, there's one man in charge of the energy supply and one man in charge of the circulation of the TGVs. From Paris, the TGV network has three dedicated high-speed routes that connect it to other lines, reaching as far north as London and into other parts of Europe. A decade ago, super train systems like today's TGV were the stuff of dreams. The TGV has proven that the only limitation to railway technology is lack of desire. In the future, we are thinking of having faster TGVs, uh, TGVs that can operate at uh, 350 kilometers per hour, which is something like 220 miles per hour. I should think the limiting factor is not technical because once again we have tried the system and we have proved that the system can be pushed at speed in the order of 320 miles per hour. The TGV is at the cutting edge of rail technology. The third generation of TGVs has hit the rails with the introduction of the TGV duplex. The duplex is a double-decker train set, which has a capacity of 545 people. 45% more than the single-deck TGV. 400,000 hours of study and testing went into this new design. This opens the door for France's entry into the next century of high-speed rail transportation. With the fourth generation TGV, a running speed well in excess of 200 miles per hour will be standard for passenger travel. However, it is still a train that runs on steel wheels rolling on steel rails. <laughs>